Hey folks, Rob here. Welcome back to the uh, Progressive Web App Summit. We are here in Amsterdam. We're joined with uh, Paul Lewis and Jake Archibald, two members of the Chrome Developer Relations team. Uh, Jake, you just got off the stage. You yes. were talking about uh, instant loading Progressive Web Apps. Yeah, I think so. It's, I'm still in that bit after the talk where everything's a blur. Um, I, I, apparently we're editing out of the real version, but halfway through my talk, my slides just disappeared. There was crazy patterns on, <laughs> on the screen, and I just thought, oh, this is, this is it. I'm just going to have to you know, tell a story, do a dance. Of all the screens, this screen is absolutely massive. Yes. So mm. for a failure, it's like full on epic. There were lots of pixels all displaying the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was very, I would say exciting, but it, it wasn't, it was terrifying. I mean, I, for the audience, it was great for the audience. <laughs> So, uh, so you're talking about instant loading, and if I'm sort of new to progressive web apps, I'm new to the topic. Are you? Is that just server side rendering, or is is there more to it? Kind of what do you mean by instant loading? So the pattern we're trying to promote is offline first. So it's this idea of like um, when when you get a request, and rather rather than thinking, oh, is the user online or is the user offline, and we'll do something different. It's like no, just treat it one way. Mm -hmm. Like try and serve stuff from a cache. Uh, something you've stored in advance, get as much data on screen before you think about going to the network. And that's where the instant part is, because like, you know, if you're on 3G or even if a fast connection, it's always going to be slower to go to the network than to just get stuff straight up that's on your phone already. Totally. Okay, cool. And, uh, and, and Paul, I know that you had some opinions on this topic as well. I did, yeah. You had, you had a tweet not too long ago that was a little, a little viral, right? <laughs> it was uh, about... Uh, the, the uncanny valley that yeah. needs to occur in this, in this space. Yeah. So, Can you talk about what, that? Yes, yeah, so what I was saying was, and it kind of ties in very much with what Jake was talking about. Um, if you do server-side rendering, uh, but you're still reliant on your JavaScript, you have this moment where you've possibly done a good first render, uh, but then you're kind of waiting for your JavaScript to arrive, be parsed, be executed, and then you're ready to go. And yeah. in that in-between stage, people are just like, and clicking and nothing's happening and tapping, nothing's mm -hmm. happening. What's going on? And I think we need to be moving more to a world with the streaming and where we progressively bootstrap our apps and not just be like, here's one big load of JavaScript and CSS and at the end of this, you know, you can talk to me again. Um, so it's very much in that kind of thing. So I, I think it very much builds on what Jake was talking about. And so, and, and I heard you mention streaming there. And so we are adding new things to the platform to just sort of improve upon this. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about streams, Jake, and, and what your interest is there? Yeah, so it's this whole idea that like, rather than just serve stuff like from the cache and then have your JavaScript kind of go to the network and piece stuff together, you can do kind of what you do on the server already and like get s some parts from the cache, some parts from the network, and create one single stream with them. So you get that sort of first fast render straight from the cache, but then stuff comes in from the network gradually. I've got a blog post on this, yeah. so it's got my blog streams. There we go. Yeah, yeah, so we can include go. a link to that uh, down in the show notes. Uh, we're also going to be taking. Is it that right there? With the down there, down there. Down there. That's where the description is, right there. Down, down yeah. there. So uh, we're also going to have both of your talks up on the Chrome Developers YouTube channel. So you can go there. You can subscribe. You can also check out the Progressive Web App playlist for for all the content that we have here from Amsterdam. Uh, Jake and Paul, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, I'm Rob, live from Amsterdam. He is. I am. See you later.